The United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania is expanding to include even more of Southwestern Pennsylvania. Three years ago, the United Ways of Allegheny and Westmoreland counties merged, and now they've expanded to include United Way of Butler County as well. The idea is to better share best practices and better serve United Way partners. Bobby Watt Gear is Regional Vice President of the United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania, and Dan LaValle chairs the Butler Local Operating Board. He's also Director of Government and Business Relations and Government Programs for UPMC Health Plan. And welcome. Good to see you both. Thank you. Yeah, Dan, how about it? Why now? Why team up with uh, United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania? Well, it was an exciting time for us, and you know, quite frankly, we saw some positive results from a previous merger a couple years ago with Westmoreland County. And for us, uh, Bill, in Butler County, you know, our mission is to have the greatest impact for the greatest amount of individuals in our Butler community, and we're going to do everything that we can to do that. So that's why we made a call to see what we could do. So there's some advantages, economies of scale, and an additional mm -hmm. programming, things you couldn't do on your own? Yes, absolutely. And, and quite frankly, you know, for us, it's so much is about touching the regional companies, seeing what they want to do in the community and, and making sure it matches with local needs. And, and even in a short time, we've had some solid success with the, with the merger uh, with a few regional companies. PNC uh, brought 700 literacy kits into our, uh, into our Butler County uh, schools, uh, recently threw up their Grow Up uh, Great initiative. Sure. And, and Williams, uh, through their annual Build a Bike initiative, they brought 20 kids from Butler County for the first time to get a bike, which is great. And, and I'm also grateful to announce that uh, UPMC and UPMC Health Plan are going to uh, bring the 100,000 books campaign into Butler even more. We're going to find as many books as we can and go start reading to kids and, and maybe even uh, move it to seniors as well. So we're excited and, and the companies are excited and so is the community. Wow, very cool. It's only announced this spray. It's already moving. It's, uh, that, that's great. Uh, Dan mentioned the, the merger of, of Westmoreland and Allegheny a few years ago. Um, how has that worked out? We've not really uh, focused on you all since that happened. So it's it's been a fabulous model for us. At our core, United Way is about identifying and meeting local human service needs by partnering with our corporate partners and volunteers in the community. And what these mergers allow us to do is really focus locally on those needs and raising and leveraging dollars and, and community support to identify and address those needs. And the merger allows a lot of those central functions, administrative functions, to be done efficiently together, uh, the back office work. And we then engage our local volunteers and leaders in addressing those problems problems locally in the community. So it's really the best of both worlds. You really push the service delivery out closer to the community. You all don't have the same headache of dealing with the, uh, the all those back office functions, yes. right? Accounting and finance and, and all the rest of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. It's, it's really built on the model of local volunteers, local donors, identifying local needs and addressing those needs through local partners. United Way, um, perhaps unlike some other organizations, is really focused on what's happening on Main Street and we really need that presence locally. So it wouldn't work as well if folks like Dan in Butler and the folks in Westmoreland weren't as critically engaged in identifying and addressing needs. Well, and, and you think, I mean, it's a regional economy, uh, but, and, but the service delivery has to be done at the local level. Mm -hmm. Still, was it hard for the board to kind of get past this and, you know, become part of this southwestern Pennsylvania thing instead of having your Butler County identity? You know, that's a great question. And I think for us, you know, that while there are certain things to work out, you know, I think we kept strong to the vision and the mission that we had. You know, we are responsible to every child. We're responsible to seniors. We're responsible to those in need and those with disabilities. And, and for us, you know, we saw that this was the best chance for us to actually serve them every day, to find companies that are willing to invest and make sure that we're a good investment as a united way to make the needs met in the community. So quite, there were some difficulties, but for us, we kept focused on the mission and, and we were able to really hear from uh, the folks in Westmoreland on the ground, Bobby and her partners and others on the board there that really walked us through, you know, how to get this done the right way. And, and that's why we're here. Yeah, Dan mentioned some specific examples of some big institutions in our region that are already affecting the programming. More to come, more opportunities along along those lines up in Butler County? Absolutely. When we look at the kinds of programs that we're able to innovate, we can share those across the system. So now United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania serves all or part of five counties. So we include Allegheny, Westmoreland, Butler, Fayette County, and parts of Armstrong County as well. So we're able to develop programs and develop techniques that we're 
where we, we can use in and with our corporate partners across that footprint. So it's much more efficient and allows us to deliver innovative programs and services much more quickly to our region. You look sad. Now, you still have an executive director for Butler County? Is that the way this is going Yes, to work? absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So for us, a, a, a major source of um, importance for us during this process was to make sure that we had a local presence. Okay. A local office, local staff, local board as well, okay. uh, which we're excited to have. And we're, we're currently in the process of hopefully finalizing a new Butler region director now, which is, of course, exciting to us. And, and we'll hope to continue to have that as we move uh, forward in the community. Very good. Well, very exciting. Congratulations to uh, the United Way of Southwestern Pennsylvania and continued success now in Butler County as well. Well, thank you very much, Bill. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. All right. Bobby Wachier and Dan LaValle up the United Way. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Please stay with us.